Hi! Okay, so I want to take you back in time almost 40 years ago when I was a little child and I began to uh, to be fascinated from electronics and uh, this is of course uh, because of my dad as electrical engineer so it took me to this world fascinated world and here I have Weller I found them these are my first soldering almost 40 years ago and I would like to show you how the soldering are working probably they are still working the voltage if I remember correctly is 24 volts but the way that they are working is uh, of course different than today and how they made it and uh, the way they are working is totally different and this is something that I will show you in this uh, video so the way that the soldering are working is uh, different than today and um, all the concept is different I don't think that today you have soldering stations or soldering tools that uh, will work in this, uh, in this way and the way is that the head of the soldering is the temperature of the soldering and how this can can be how the head can define the temperature of the soldering i will show you how basically the concept is that you have uh, the heat element here this is a 24 volt 50 watts and on the head you have number if you can see the number here, you should see it, the number 7 and the 7 is the heat and the temperature of the head. I don't remember all the numbers, but how this can work. So this head is a magnetic head and the way that it works when, when you uh, heat a, a magnet uh, there is a physics phenomena that the magnetics reduce as the heat become uh, more heated and this way the magnet is less uh, has less force and when it has less force then there is a relay here that uh, when it is heated it is stopping the power to the heating element and when it is stopped so it becomes colder and then the magnetic become magnet stronger magnet again and when the magnet is stronger it's automatically uh, attach the relay inside and then like this it it is heated again i will show you now inside wow this is a deja vu 40 years ago 40 years almost 40 years this is a lot of time okay so what you should do in this soldering is open this plastic so you will be able yes to push it and then you have just three Phillips screws I did it so many times when I was a child trying to fix this soldering so I have a deja vu of 40 years ago and then what you should do is open the three Phillips screw and I will show you what is happening inside you have 
just very few parts a capacitor and a and the let's say manual relay magnetic and the heating element okay so i will now pull it out voila and there it is very 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 simple we have here inside a b metal and the b metal when uh, this head is magnetic and cold you will see that it is pushing the two parts inside I will zoom so you will be able to see what I'm talking because it is fascinated and this is 40 years ago unbelievable okay so if you will look closely inside you will see the moving moving element this is the relay inside that when it is cold it is like it is disconnected uh, so it is connected when the heating it is uh, when it is cold it is connected like now and there you have a connection from the power to the heating element and when it is starting to heat so pack it is stopping the the heating i will try i don't know if my power supply has enough power but i will try to show it live to you right now so what we will do we will work with an open soldering we will put the cover back like it is in the real world and now let's zoom out a little and I will try to show you how this is working if this is still working it was about 40 years in my closet okay in my drawer let's say so now I will apply uh, of course th this work on 24 AC I am now applying a DC I think the power that I have is enough so we will go to the power of this one so we will put 24 volts 3 amps I think it should be enough and let's make it heated ok it's consumed 2 amps so it's ok it is now heated in a few minutes you will see the 40 years soldering actually working and try to watch here when you hear the click when it is heated enough yes we are consuming 50 watts as it should be 40 years soldering and still working this is by the way weller a weller soldering tool as you can see it is heated now yes it is heated you can see here and now we will wait for the temperature to be enough and you will hear a click sound hopefully and you will see that the, oh, the relay was disconnected yes the current is now zero and now you are here hearing the power supply the rigor power stopping to get power and it will be click in a few seconds again up and this is now connected I will do zoom you can see the disk inside let me try to do a better picture okay so you can see it moving and turning on and off the power to the heating element now it is disconnected in a few moments it will be connected again up 
and you hear a very uh, it's not noisy but you hear the click and you can hear my power supply fan that is uh, going to higher speed when I'm consuming the 50 watt for this order so that's all for now hope you enjoy and bye bye one more thing about what we seen inside so we seen a capacitor and the aim of the capacitor is to remove the spike that occurs when uh, the heating element turn off you have a, a current that flow because this is a coil so you have a, a, a voltage spike that is going back to the contact that we seen and uh, the capacitor should uh, uh, let's say uh, remove the spike as possible so uh, the B metal will not uh, be will still work and will not have corrosion and uh, it will not uh, become uh, less uh, conductive because if it, it is not conductive so the current can flow to the heating element which is of course a coil that uh, heating uh, all the elements here so that's all and bye